on today's Taste Texas. Crown roast rack of lamb. Hold on, okay. just one second. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't ask me, I'm Spoken just like a pro. Now, how many times have you done this? <laughs> Never. Don't add salt to the mushrooms till after they're caramelized. I just ate a whole carrot in one bite. <laughs> in one bite. So pull up a chair and join us at the table. Welcome to Taste Texas. I'm Amy Kushner. Thank you for joining us in the Sub-Zero uh, showroom here in Dallas. by the way, Dallas. I'm Garth Blackburn, just to let you all know. <laughs> oh, yes. Thanks for the intro there, Amy. Uh, about you. Yeah. <laughs> Today At is... least it's written on my chef coat. That's Was that true. what you were figuring? <laughs> no. Today <laughs> is all about Easter, and we are going to make something that you've probably seen in magazines and kind of thought, gosh, I would love to have that on my table, but that looks far too hard and fancy for me. Guess what? Gar's gonna teach us how to make it, and he's hopefully gonna make it super easy because I need to make it too. You're gonna be making it. Perfect, so see? We're gonna all have fun today. <laughs> Let's get started. So what she's referring to is a crown roast rack of lamb. So have you ever seen like the beautiful crown with the, the French bones coming out, and a lot of times you'll put like a stuffing or something on the inside? Yes. That's what we're doing today, and I'm gonna make it approachable. I've seen it in Martha Stewart's cookbook, and it looks really intimidating, but I have a feeling it's gonna be easy if you and teach me how. That's where I learned to make it, so what are the <laughs> odds of that? If there is one advantage I haven't heard, is that I'm not a convicted felon. So let's, let's get cooking here. Whoops, oh well, no, busted. <laughs> All Ouch. right, so we got, we got rack of lamb. I'm gonna put a little bit of kosher salt, some freshly cracked black pepper. We're gonna be making a sauce with this, so I don't wanna put a lot onto the lamb itself. Okay. But we are gonna be adding some herbs and some citrus in just a little bit. All right. Flip that over. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit more salt and black pepper. Will you grab the grapeseed oil there underneath? Sure. Okay, so if you'll drizzle that down, we're gonna sear this. Were you preparing for 12 racks of lamb or two? Because that has a lot of coverage I don't know, I just there. reminded me of the hibachi guy. He kind of does smiley faces and such. So. <laughs> Should I get you uh, some shrimp and scallops yes. and have you go at it? And fried rice. <laughs> so we're gonna get a nice sear all the way across the lamb. And this is where I think a lot of people go wrong is that you lose a lot of flavor if you just buy an already prepared Mm -hmm. rack of lamb that's been shaped into a crown roast. And the same thing goes for pork. So a lot okay. of times you'll see a pork mm -hmm. you know, crown, mm -hmm. but it's hard to get a lot of caramelization if they've already made it into a crown. I'm gonna sear it first. That's gonna guarantee a really good sear okay. and a lot of that crisp outside, and then we'll make it into the crown, okay? Wow. So while that's searing, we're gonna get ready for what we're gonna put into the center of the crown, which is gonna okay. be this potato mixture. Mm -hmm. i tell you what, I'm gonna have Would you- Would you call that the stuffing? It's not really stuffing, <laughs> but kind of, I know, in terms of like the southern southern approach. Yes, that would be the stuffing. Would you have these Brussels sprouts of course, for me? Of course. And just in case Amy's Brussels sprouts are not perfectly halved, I already cut these in half. <laughs> I'm just offending everybody today. <laughs> As if I can't have Brussels sprouts, of course I can. Okay, will you cut some fingerling potatoes for me? Do you me? already have those have too? I do. <laughs> so why bother? And for the, if you're getting fingerling potatoes, for the larger ones, you'll wanna cut, and I'm gonna be nice first. now because she's the one holding the knife. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a cut like twice across here and here so that they're all about the same thickness. Excuse oh, me. Here. Mm. <laughs> that pepper Finish. got. Hold on. Okay. Just one second. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, that's. Be nice that's to the girl exactly who holds the knife. That's exactly what I meant, or close to it. I'm going to put a little bit of Texas olive oil down, toss our Brussels sprouts there. Uh huh. Okay. I'm also going to put this is uh, from Home Smokehouse, which is a Texas company. This is pecan wood smoked 
venison sausage. And I know you don't like sausage. What, a lot, the reason a lot, ooh, a lot of people don't like sausage is they don't <laughs> like the casing on it. So I peeled the casing off of this. Thank you. And the part that still had the casing on it, I decided to throw onto the floor. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, I believe we passed the five seconds. <laughs> That's just wrong. And so I'm just gonna take this. Could be a candy cane. <laughs> uh, dig in. And I'm just gonna tear this into chunks. Okay. So it's all gonna be about the same size. Put our potatoes into there as well. Oh, nice. Will you flip that lamb over for me? I'll try. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back.